Happy April, everybody. So I am recording my April bullet journal setup for you guys. It's been a really long time and this setup took me forever, forever to edit and to get right because I don't have my usual equipment and my lighting is off. So I'm apologizing now. Um, my lighting is just I'm using daylight and then I'm using light and it's the wrong kind of color it's just been it's been a thing okay it's just been a day but I wanted to put this out there for you guys because I haven't done one in a really long time I figured I mean everybody else is stuck at home just like I am so I thought I would do one since I have a lot more time on my hands um, I hope everybody's holding up well in their house. I hope everyone's doing good. Everyone's healthy. I know it's really tough out there with all the news, everything going on. Um, it's just difficult hearing about all those people that are dying and sick and getting affected. All the healthcare workers, all the businesses that are just, you know, suffering. I'm totally just, it breaks my heart that we're at this point, but we're here. And we're in it together and we got to help each other out so I decided for my April theme it would be appropriate to do a cover of the whole earth my version of it of course I'm just randomly doing shapes and hoping that it looks like an earth um, for April and uh, I decided to have a girl hugging the earth because I feel like we all need love right now everybody just needs to be together and just you know, be understanding, take care of each other. We all live on this earth. We're all feeling it right now. And, you know, it's just, I just felt like this theme was appropriate. Um, so here I am. I am just, um, just coloring. I'm using my Tombos. Um, and I don't have the exact colors right now, but I will try my best to put them on the bottom. If I don't, you can just ask me and I will respond to you. You can comment below. I will respond to you. Um, some of my footage is missing, so you miss a couple of things, but we're moving on. So right here, I'm drying the girl. I made her hair green because I thought it was kind of more nature-y, and I decided to add some flowers on her hair. I did see this picture on Pinterest, and um, kind of made it my own, um, just kind of what I had in mind. So um, I just added some flowers in her hair, and... Um, uh, just adding a bunch of bows and just kind of like roses and different daisies and things like that so making her more like mother nature I guess I'm very upset well not upset but I'm kind of bummed out because I had a really nice rosy color on her cheeks and I decided okay I want to add some color to this girl's skin she's a bit pale for my liking for my mother nature liking and <laughs> I went with this brown that was too dark for me because you can see the streaks and I just you know what I had to commit because I couldn't go back so that's what happened um, yeah so she's really dark um, which hey I'm dark so I don't really care but I just don't like the streaks on her face but it's whatever that's not the point so here I am adding some uh, gold kind of like accents on some of the um, darker parts on the earth and um, just I just like to add this gold on everything. I got this marker at Daiso and it's like a paint marker, a gold paint marker and it actually has paid off really well. It works really good and I think I got it for like $3 or $2 or something like that. Really cheap at Daiso. So I decided to write a quote. It says, love thy neighbor by staying home. And it's by me, so I wrote my name down there. Because <laughs> I say that, I've been saying that to all my family. Love thy neighbor by staying home. Okay, guys, just stay home. Do what you're told. You're not going to, you know, just just do what you got to do. Just do what you're told. You're not cool because you don't do it. Just Just do it so we can get over this sooner. On this next page, I start planning my monthly overview. Um, this was kind of everywhere. I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but it 
turned out to be a little bit more everywhere. <laughs> so um, this month was supposed to be more of a like a house theme since we're all stuck at home. Um, I did the earth in the beginning because I really thought that that was really meaningful for me and I thought it would be very appropriate. And then I figured I would draw some houses around here because everyone is stuck at home. And so I thought I'd draw everybody's different houses. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought that and I liked it. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Anyway, so I saw this little house. Um, I'm sure there's millions of drawings of this same house looking like this, but there's houses like this around where I live and, um, you know, walking around with my kids. We just saw some houses and they, this is what came to mind. And I probably saw a picture of it somewhere and it just stayed stuck in my head too. So I don't know. I'm trying some bushes here. Um, I decided to just stick with my black and gold and white because I didn't want to do a lot of coloring on the housing or on the houses, not the housing. Duh. Um, and now I moved on to my um, bills tracker um, or bills and bill expense tracker. And I am drawing um, some homes up top here on the top of this. And it's my monthly expense report. That's what I called it. <laughs> Same thing on this one. I'm just using my black marker. As you can see, I turned on my light here. And um, I'm just using my black marker and my mild liner in gray and uh, to make the lines for my expenses. Moving on to my weight and measure tracker. Um, I used this last month and it worked so well. Um, I kept track of everything, my weight and everything. I am working out still at home. I'm still losing weight, surprisingly, <laughs> but I'm doing it. So, um, you know, I've lost weight and it's working. This tracker works really well for me. I'm sorry that it's not completely in the middle of the title, but you know what, it was really late and I was working on this. So, you get what you get. <laughs> on this next page, I did my, um, it's more like an income and budget tracker. So I'm doing our income, I'm tracking like when we're gonna get paid and how much each of us is gonna get paid. And um, on the bottom here, I have, um, some trackers for like our checking account, like what we start with. I like to have this so I know what I started with and what I ended with. Usually I'll track it weekly. So I'll go in and I'll check the balance and I'll write it down. Um, but for some of these, I just check in the beginning and then I check at the end. For example, I have my checking, I have a savings, and I have um, a credit card that I'm tracking. I'm just using my jelly pen, jelly roll pen um, on top of the black. It just makes it easier. Um, and yeah, I am drawing these little ovally looking spots. I have an over and under color. So red is over the budget, blue is under budget. Um, just to, so I can visually see what's going on. I usually fill this out weekly, so I will open this page weekly and fill out what I have to. So I ordered these really cool um, habit trackers by, I'm not sure her name, but I will tag her name from Etsy shop on the bottom. Um, so I just did a really easy habit tracker with these stickers, it made it so much easier than drawing everything out and hurting my hand. For my mood tracker, I decided I would draw thousands of houses. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just drew out 30 houses and I just basically what I'm going to do is color them in according to my 
you know, my colors that I choose. Either I'm going to be red for angry, I think, blue for sad. Um, I think I did like a green for meh. And then um, I think I did yellow for happy. I can't remember. You'll see it there. It comes up. But, um, yeah, so I just did these bunches of houses, kind of like a little neighborhood. I did some grass on the side. And um, uh, eventually I go back in and fix some stuff that I missed. For example, color. Um, but right now I was just going through it and just kind of rushing through this, trying to get it done so that I could start using my April planner. On these two pages, I did a brain spill because I need double pages because I am constantly, I take my bullet journal everywhere, everywhere, and I just, I need a page where I can write random stuff down. On this next page, I am doing a cookie order um, tracker, basically. I bake cookies and I sell them, so I um, keep track of all my orders here. I also have a business expense on the bottom which is really small because we don't spend a lot which is great so I don't I don't spend a lot of stuff so I just need a little little bit so here I am trying to go back and looking through it to make sure that I got everything and I noticed that I missed a couple things for example the titles of my habit trackers I'm doing journaling reading um, exercise prayer Bible study vitamins um, what does that say I can't See the skincare, kids' work, uh, homework, and I'm studying Italian. That's what it says. So I'm doing Italian. I just go back with my Tombow, highlight the the top, and then I go back in and add some color to my mood tracker. Just some green on the grass. I figured that would kind of brighten it up. I also do some gold little dots on the top. So as you can see, I'm choosing what color I'm going to use on the houses. I just drew a couple of faces. I did red, blue, green, and yellow. Exactly what I said earlier. Back on my cookie tracker, I'm just doing some grass um, on the top for some color. And right, um, right next to the business expense, just to kind of, yeah, separate that. So here you have it. Here is my... Plan with me for April. This is my spread for April. I have everything I need. I didn't do a weekly spread because I plan on doing more journaling than anything else in there. Um, I do have another planner that I like to keep other appointments in. So this is mostly for my journaling and for this stuff here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are staying safe. Please stay home. Don't get sick. Don't get your loved ones sick. Um, stay home so we can get the, over this um, together sooner, quicker, and get back to our normal lives. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.